Our next guest is seeing signs of the COVID economic recovery in her business. Let's uh, welcome uh, Deborah Cafaro, CEO, Chairman of Healthcare Real Estate Investment Trust Ventas. Ventas owns or has investments in about 1,200 healthcare properties in the U.S., Canada, and the U.K., one of the largest senior housing owners in the U.S., 739 senior communities. Thanks for joining us. It's a great sector to kind of monitor given the pandemic. And there are some differences, Deborah, that we want to point out. So you're not necessarily a skilled nursing home. Seniors live in your facilities, which you own, but they're usually operated by, by someone else. Yes, good morning. Yes, speaking of brands, we do, Ventas owns 1,200 properties. Most of them are branded, however, with the names of the care providers who are major uh, not-for-profit hospitals, in the case of our medical office, but also care providers like Atria and Sunrise Senior Living. I'm sure you've seen them here in the U.S. and Le Groupe Maurice, a brand in Quebec. The, during the pandemic, we are also well aware of, of uh, uh, people that, that uh, lived in, in nursing facilities. But the average age of someone in, in your facility, this was an at-risk population. So th yes. you had very similar concerns and needed to take some, some similar steps. Did you take those steps, or it was in combination, since you're the owner, a REIT, or was it in combination with, with your care operators? Well, at, at Ventas, we threw the whole weight of our firm uh, behind the health and safety of our residents, our physicians, our patients, and our medical office. And we're really proud of what we've been able to accomplish with the operators to keep seniors safe. And now, of course, we've vaccinated uh, with the operators um, nearly 90 percent or more of our seniors. And if you want to know whether the vaccine works, please come to our communities where seniors are starting to enjoy all kinds of lifestyle benefits now that they've been vaccinated. And our uh, cases are down to virtually zero. So I am so grateful. So how did you do it? You actually set up vaccine clinics in yes. a lot of your, your facility. You did that you, in combination with Sunrise or Atria? Well, there are communities and the operators like Sunrise and Atria got together with Walgreens and CVS and we hosted clinics inside of our communities, most of which have completed three cycles of the clinics. And the seniors, of course, were incredibly enthusiastic about getting vaccinated. The vaccines have been incredibly efficacious. And now, again, our seniors can have visitation with loved ones and are so much happier and healthier. And, of course, we are thrilled. The, during the pandemic, I, I guess a lot of, like, we've read about it anecdotally, how much normal health care was, was delayed or, or affected by that. So yes. are you getting back to how much of normal would you say at this point? Yes, well, that's really important because seniors in particular did defer a lot of their health care. And so we do expect to see some additional demand coming. Hospitals and medical offices are back up to over 90 percent of pre-pandemic uh, visitation and activities. And we expect that to continue as people feel safe. And hopefully our medical office will also be a site now where more Americans can get vaccinated. So we're very excited. We see over 35 million patients in our medical office every year. So that will really be beneficial both for the senior li living communities as well as for other parts of Ventas's business. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I guess, I mean, you do make acquisitions and things. You're going to go back to offense? Were you playing defense with, with the, the company somewhat for the last year? Well, yes, thank you for asking that. I mean, we have built a big, strong, diversified healthcare real estate business. We've always been a consolidator. That's one of the value propositions and core competencies that we have. And as I said on our earnings call, we are definitely back on our front foot as far as external investments go. We've been growing a life science business, and I could see us continue to make acquisitions there as well as in the other sectors that we're invested in. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.